Shout out to the white people. Uh, she met a guy after coming on my show. They were intimate. Now she is blocked and she doesn't know why. Mm. Mm. I wonder why. Why? I just can't take it. Let's hear what she got to say, child. I'm back, Kendra. You was here before? I need better light, boo. Uh, I don't know if I can do it. I'll have to see it. Okay, that's better. Okay. I don't think I remember you. What's um, your name? I looked a lot different. I was a hot mess. <laughs> okay, stop moving because the Wi-Fi like is I can't say I can't trust it. What's your name, honey? It's Ronnie Nicole. Ronnie Nicole, where are you calling me from? Cincinnati. Cincinnati. How old are you? 34. 34. What you do for a living? I'm a property manager. Property manager. You have any children? She got a she got a big forehead. She might have some, she might be mixed with something else, but damn that forehead is big. So y'all came out for what's her name? Ronnie. Ronnie Nicole. Y'all came out for Ronnie Nicole, huh? All right, child. How many kids you got, child? Three. Three? How old are your kids? Fourteen, almost eleven, and eight. Um, all by the same man? No, two different men. Have you ever been married? I was. When did you get divorced? 2018. Okay. Uh, Ronnie, Nicole, what's your... Ronnie, right? Yeah. <laughs> How do you say it? It's Ronnie. Okay, Ronnie. What's your zodiac sign? Uh, Virgo. Virgo. So this is Ronnie, Nicole, Cincinnati, 34, is a Virgo property manager. Three kids, 14, 11, and eight. What kind of man are you looking for, honey? Well, I'm here for an update because I was here before. Okay, what's your update? So um, I had like probably... Kenya acting like she... Uh, Kenna. Kendra acting like she is not in the mood. Kendra is totally acting like she is not in the mood. She's like, girl, get to it. We do not care. Just get to it because I'm ready to go home, take this wig... Or I'm ready to take this wig off and lay down. Probably... 16 different men. I know that they are going to come for me, Kendra, because you're on YouTube and you're on Facebook right now, and that's fine. Um, but I'm going to tell my story. Um, I had about 16 different men hit me up. One of them got my attention. One of them. Um, he didn't even meet all of my qualifications, but I gave him a chance. Oh, hell no. You trying to tell me all this running off at the mouth that y'all be doing and you don't even hold to it? 16 different men, but this one stood out to me, even though he didn't meet my qualifications. Everything that I ever put out there, it really doesn't mean anything. I'm just out here to be talking so that I can be on your show looking like a half damn crazy biatch. Um, and now I'm blocked and I don't know why. <laughs> Wait, so you guys were talking and he just blocked you? Yeah, we actually met. He drove. He All right, so look. I oh, girl, we know you met. Oh, girl, we know you met. You ain't even have to tell us. You, you talking about you blocked and you calling back in to talk about it. We know what that means, child. Mm -mm -mm. We was not born yesterday. Right, your excellence, sir. Thank you so much for the support. He says they got divorced when she got big headed and ahead of herself. Something, right? That head is big, y'all. I'm sorry. I, I got to call it. Like, child, you might be mixed with something else, girl, because that forehead is foreheading. I've been commenting that well, your, your camera's cutting your head off, so bring the camera down. I'm forehead, I'm sorry. Oh, she knows it. <laughs> ah, she knows it. We didn't even get to see the whole damn thing. He probably said, mm, I can't deal with that forehead. <laughs> so what happened? You went on a date. So he is actually a truck driver, right? And so I've, I've been commenting a lot lately that truck drivers shouldn't be allowed on here. I've been a hater. <laughs> that might be why I got blocked. Um, but he actually like had a route like with me in between. So he stopped and met me. Um, oh, he was in between. All right, girl. We know. Did y'all have sex? Yeah. And then he blocked you after you had sex with him? After multiple times. And then we even talked after that. Multiple times. I Girl, multiple times in the same night, child. What are we talking about right now? If he a truck driver, shout out to my blue collar workers. If he's a daggone truck driver, he got to get that daggone load to where it need to go. So he went that way and stopped. Blah, 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 blah. On his way back, he stopped. Blah, 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 blah. Then he was done. Oh, this is easy. This, that was easy. However, that commercial goes. <laughs> Office Depot or something. 
had sex multiple times at one time or y'all met up more than one time? More than one time. So how Like I said, on the way up, on the way back, on the way up, on the way back. Shout out to Coonley. Yes, that's the word I was thinking of. Where'd you go? Lot lizard. That's what my husband calls it. Lot lizard. How many times did y'all meet up? Twice. Why do you have sex with him the first time you meet him? On the way up and on the way back. Did I call it? Did I call it? Child, you cannot make this ish up, girl. You ain't fooling nobody. You can't, you can't, you cannot make this shit up. I shouldn't have, I know. And he blocked you? Yeah. And you don't know why? No, he won't tell me why. And look, when I was on here, it's really sad, Kendra, because when I was on here, I had told you the story. I, I was on Facebook. I told you the story about the guy from Detroit, right? I don't you remember, remember any story. So tell me like you're talking to me for the first time. So I went I went to Detroit. A guy went with me. He didn't talk to me when we got back. He was still with his baby mom. Okay. So this guy, I feel like he did the same exact thing. Like, why Why'd you, you set yourself up to be in the same situation? I did. I set myself up. I know. Stop blaming a man and you got to start taking responsibility on how you are participating in these situations. He probably don't got to talk to you no more. He got what he wanted. He had sex with you twice. You know, what would be, and if you don't want more than that, what would be the reason to keep on a conversation? Yeah, it's rude. Yeah, it's fucked up. But that's how you treated yourself in this situation. You're right. And you told me not to do situationship stuff whenever I wanted a relationship. And you said that a few times. I we might be seeing why, uh, uh, what happened with her and the husband. She wanted to be out here with the, um, the, um, the truck drivers passing through. This is her second time. And you came back onto the daggone internet to discuss this. Why is it that these people can't just keep these things to themselves, but we supposed to care. They can't keep nothing to themselves, but we support. Then they get mad when somebody talk about them, we supposed to care. The hell you want us to do? You out here talking about this mess looking half damn crazy. Kendra don't remember you, child. Kendra don't remember you. Just, just, just face it. You looking a mess out in these streets, okay? But everything is also ha 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 ha. Girl, ain't none of this funny. But if you think it's funny, we think it's funny, and that's why we talk about you because we judge over here. Shout out to Coffee Boy in the building. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for the support. He says that truck driver got that fast food through the drive through after all those qualifications. Yo, be wait. How many times we say that? Girl, shut up. How many times we be listening to this foolishness? Like, girl, you ain't fooling no damn body. Just out here talking. Just out here just running off at the mouth for no apparent reason. Sitting up here going through this whole list of nothing in order to not abide by none of it any daggone way. I don't know why he's not talking to me and he won't tell me. What do he need to tell you for? He need to tell you, girl, you gave it up. I got enough. I'm done. Oh, okay. He needs to tell you that? Girl, read the room. Shout out to the squeegee kid for the $4.99. Appreciate you. He said, so not only did he hit, but he must have hit that spine. Because she's calling Kendra trying to get him to unblock her. Basically, right? Basically, right? Girl, you know you can just, what is it? Start 69 and dial the number and you're going to get through. I mean, you're going to look half damn crazy. But I'm just saying, it's one of them stars something. If somebody blocked you on the phone and it'll put you through as an unknown number. And then... If you don't answer the phone, you don't answer the phone. But I'm just saying, there's a way to get through that. But, ma'am, take your L's in silence, please. I get that. I get that. I get that. Now, too, I was being very naive because this man, all about, you know, everything that he was. But it was not very appealing to me because it was like a constant thing with him. Like he was better than me or something. Um and, and you still fell with him, so you didn't even like him that much. And you still gave him something. at first, at first, but then it seemed like he was like he wasn't okay with my life. Bring the cameras out. You keep getting cut off. So how long did you guys know each other? How long did you guys talk for? Um, a few weeks before he came over. So when, two weeks. When did you realize he blocked you? Um, so it was probably a week or so after the second time I seen him. Uh, the the um, iPhone blue turned into green. Listen, I love, I'm a girl's girl, but y'all be playing yourselves. The men don't even gotta play y'all. Totally y'all play yourselves. And I told you they were gonna- Shout out to you, Kendra G, for finally saying what it is. All they wanna do is blame the man. It's the man, it's the man. Crusty, dusty, musty, rusty, ashy bums. You know, it's always the man fault. It's always your main fault. It's always your main fault. 
and you prove that you're all hard, okay? You didn't even know the man, and you're sleeping with him. Like, if if you wanted a one-night stand, just say what it is. Why do we need to know this? You really thought you was getting into a relationship with a person that you freaking don't even know that's going cross-country, just happened to be coming past you? Oh, that's perfect. I ain't got to go nowhere. He came to see, This is the story. He came to see me. Girl, that's where the root went stop. He probably watches Kendra G on purpose, y'all. Isn't that a good lick, actually? Pause. He can freaking get on Kendra G, see where they live, map out where he's going, save the names that look half decent, reach out. That's probably what he's doing all over America. You're going to come for me, and this is definitely my fault. It definitely, definitely is my fault. I don't know if you was coming on like it was your fault because you came on not like in a sense of being the victim. You said he blocked you. You don't know why he blocked you. I don't know why he blocked me, but I shouldn't have made the decisions that I made either. If I wanted different reactions out of the men that I'm trying to date or whatever it may be, I have to make different actions myself. And I do understand that. Yes. I so do. let's try this again. Do you want to meet somebody new? Yes, but I've listened. Listen, I need somebody that's 100% exclusive. Um, girl. Oh, now we're back to the qualifications. 100% exclusive. 100% exclusive. <laughs> Child, please. She'll be like, he has to make $85 million. Some dude gonna come through talking about y'all. I work at McDonald's. Okay. I can hear it now. Girl, you demand men rise to the occasion of what you require. So either if you require something, either the guy that is for it is going to rise to the occasion or he's not like standards are just rules that you live by. You don't have to pose them on anybody because either they're going to rise to the occasion or not going to rise to the occasion. And either way, it won't make, it wouldn't make no difference to you because the ones who don't rise to the occasion, thank God. So you don't got to, you're so you want a guy that wants to be exclusive. So definitely, definitely wants to be exclusive. And I don't want to take my time, but I don't want to rush things either. Um, what does I realized, that even mean? You don't want to take your time, but you don't want to rush things. No, like I, I don't want. So when I was here before, I said for two and a half years, I was actually celibate. I wasn't with anybody and I messed that up for myself last year. Okay. I did that. I actually got in a relationship. Oh, that year. might, that might be. Okay. So with this guy, you just slept with, you were celibate for two years before you like, no, years. no, no. I messed that up last year. Um, but this one, what is this woman talking about? What is this woman talking about? She ain't talking about nothing. Girl, just admit what you are, ma'am. You're Would be the second one since then. Okay. So I think it was kind of a craving for me, honestly. I'm not going to lie. I think it was more of No, a I think the first one, yeah. I mean, still, it is what it is. But I could understand that. Yeah. But okay. So are you on a celibacy journey? Are you resetting? Um, I can't say that I'm exactly resetting, but it's going to be. The take answer time. is no. It's going to okay. take time. Okay. So you want sure. a guy that wants to be exclusive. What else? Yeah. Somebody who um, is going to be for me. You know, like I'm, I'm real. I always say who I am. I don't hide anything. I don't portray to be something that I'm not. Um, so if I tell you something, if we're having a discussion or anything like that, you come around me, you don't like something, let me know that. I don't know if they were. Don't she favor the girl that we just saw in the last story with the 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 eighty million dollar guy and I mean six point six my bad six point six billion sorry six point six billion. I mean no see no shade. Shout out to that woman whatever her name was in the other story, but they definitely favor one another because if this woman was made up or something, then maybe she could look more like her. You, ma'am, you're getting what you qualify for. That's all I'm going to say. Because you out here uh, just word vomiting, saying absolutely nothing. And Kendra tired, and so are we. Speed it up. There was a turnoff that happened when, whenever I met this guy. I don't know what it was. Um, but, you know, if there's anything about me that you don't like, just let me know. Just keep it real with me because I'm always going to be real. I could have came on here front and saying that I just met the perfect guy ever. No, that's not the case. That's not the case whatsoever. I admitted my faults. But... Okay. So somebody who's exclusive, somebody who's going to be for me, somebody who's honest, somebody who's obviously not going to be childish and just block somebody out of nowhere. I mean, I'm in my mid thirties now, so definitely. Not ah, right again, right again. Not what I need. Been married, divorced, like 
I believe in blocking people. I I block I, people. Me too. Me too. <laughs> I mean, I understand that people. Sometimes I, mean, I feel like I block my blessings, blessings Kendra. Here's the thing. In your case, I understand, but and I don't block people easily. But I'm definitely the. If I I don't like art, listen. I don't got time for it. If I don't talk. This po this view right here. <laughs> This view right here, y'all. She looking older than mid thirties. I'm just saying. Told you something, and you couldn't honor it. I'm not explaining myself no more. So I'm a person that actually believes in blocking, and I actually think more people should block people because it will stop you from going in circles with the same individual. So, but I think I understand how you're saying it's childish because some people do want explanations, but sometimes I would say block a person and keep it moving, but. That's just my own personal thoughts on it. Does the guy have to look a certain way? Yes. Um, I obviously like black men. That was discussed on the first show. Oh, gentlemen, start your engines, child. Start your engines, child. She looking for y'all. Hey. <laughs> she said, I obviously like black men. Like, man, what's obvious about that? I'm, I'm confused because you got a big forehead. Like what? Like what is going on here that is supposed to be obvious that she likes black men? Cause she goofy. There's nothing that I mean. Maybe she's just a little urban, as people would say, urban. So now you're letting the brothers urbanize you. <laughs> Child, you can't make it up. Shout out to my girl Celine. Thank you again for the support. She said, I'm guessing her place smells like stale popcorn. I really can't get a hold of that background, but it looked like she is either in the closet or the bathroom. I can't really tell, but ain't nothing special going on here. She ain't got no um, what is it called? Uh Louboutins, like the girl from the last story got. She ain't got nothing going on here. She's just taking it and they and they leaving her period point blank. But can't tell her nothing, right? She already know. That's why she's talking about it. At the end of the day, she knows what it is. Talking about, I want him to tell me and not be childish. Girl, you back on daggone internet looking childish. You want to talk about him. Let that go. Take your L's in peace and in private and let it go. We did not need to know all this. But it's obvious she likes black men. Dear black men. What's her name? Ronnie. Ronnie's here for you all. Shout out to Coffee Boy with another four ninety nine. He said, Dr. Umar, paging Dr. Umar. Come get your queen. Come on, Dr. Umar. Dr. Umar has been MIA. I ain't heard. What's going on? What's going on with him? I'm going to have to check into that. Go to, um, okay. I like darker men. Um, I prefer. Have to to be clear. I'm sorry. What's your ethnicity to be clear? I'm I'm Caucasian. Okay. Would you date a Caucasian man? Um, I was married to one. My all of my kids are. How many? Oh, you have three kids. All your kids are Caucasian. Yep. So when did you start dating black men? I did before I was married, and then after I was married. <laughs> okay, got you, got you. So now, would you date a man of another race or black men only? I would, and just like before, um, I just prefer a black man. I probably won't. I won't be as attracted to you if you're not a black man, I don't feel like, but I can be attracted to you. Um, attractions aren't solely based off of looks to me either. It ain't based off of color either, but you let that be known. We are, ma'am, we know why. We understand. We get it. Ma'am, we wasn't born yesterday. We know what it was. You know, you like that thing. We know. We wanted that thing. Okay. And then the daggone man came through. So you like, oh, he coming to see me. Yeah, girl, I got me one child. He coming to see me. And then he got the excuse to be like, all right, I got to get back on the road. Then came back. He was like, all right, wasn't nothing out there. So let me go ahead and stop by here again. Oh, he came back to see me. Yeah, he came back to see me. It's true love. It's true love. Mm -hmm. Wrong. Shout out to the squeegee kid. S Y white C B M. <laughs> Save your white community, black men. <laughs> Y'all are crazy. Yo. Bring her, listen, bring her to the cookout, y'all. Let all the TBB see what's going on. This could be your wife. At least she not like that lady in the Bronx, in the NYCHA building who deleted the boyfriend, okay? We got to find positivity where we can, y'all. We got to find positivity where we can. Okay, okay. 
Does he got to make a certain amount of money? Uh, yeah, I said 50 to 80,000. I don't require too much. Um, the last guy, he made a lot, like the guy that I had met or whatever, he made a lot of money. And that's where I felt like there was a big difference there. Like he thought he was maybe better or something. Oh, the last guy made 80K. No, he made more than that. He made probably 300 to 500. This is the guy that you talked to for two weeks? The one that I that messaged me from your show. So he made... <sighs> Who thinks the man that ran through her made three hundred to five hundred thousand dollars like girl we we you letting us know why these things keep happening to you okay you don't have the sense that god gave you three hundred to five hundred thousand dollars when did you find that out in the two in the eight days that you knew the man allegedly eight days that you knew him three hundred to five hundred probably the one yeah. that, huh most likely, yeah. I, I don't know the exact figure, but very close. Exactly. Most likely. Most likely. Most likely. Most likely. Child, I make three hundred to 500000 too, child. Most likely. Just be making shit up to try to make it seem better. I got a man that made $500,000. I mean, he blocked me, but he made $500,000. That's to make you feel better, ma'am. Okay. And this is the one that blocked you? Yep. Has he been on the show or he was just watching the show? No, he watches your show. We used to watch your show together all the time. I would screen share. We would, I would put you on my TV, like always watch your show. So I'm sure he's watching right now. And it's funny. Because and that's why you're here, ma'am, because you know, he's watching. She probably wants him to come up. You know how sometimes Kendra will have the other person come up on the show. She honestly probably wants him to come up. He's like, nah, girl, I'm done with you. I'm on to the next victim, child. Cause I got to, I'm going up toward Canada now. Shout out to meet you. And I need to meet somebody along that route. Your route was to the left. I'm going north now. Because before he blocked me, I sent him a, a Snapchat request and he hadn't accepted it. And then after he blocked me, he accepted it. So he is on my Snapchat. But I, I don't post a lot, a lot on there. So you blocked me. I don't know you either. Snapchat, all that. Yeah, like I don't, I haven't tried, I haven't attempted to talk to him or anything. Oh, okay, yeah. That's the way you should move with that one. Yeah. Um, all right, let's do the Kendra Cam. Okay, um, let me get it set up. I hope that it, it works. Last time Some I people don't, don't believe Kendra Cousins that this man made that much. So you don't know how much he made, but you say- Girl, don't cover up the FUPA, child. Let us see it, child. Let it all hang out. Around he, was of over, that. he was an owner operator over the road trucker, and I'm and he an owner operator means he owned the truck. Girl, quiet. He had some other things going on, so I'm sure he made quite a bit of money. Okay, all right. Okay. Oh, oh you got a booty. Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. She got a fupa too. All right, she tried. Let's let's go back because we're not gonna miss that. I got a booty. <laughs> Watch her cover up her fupa. Watch. That it, it works. Last time. Some people don't, don't believe Kendra Cousins that this man made that. Did you see it? <laughs> she covered that up quick. Much. So you don't know how much he made, but you're saying around. He was, over, he was an owner operator over the road trucker, and I'm and he had some other things going on. So I'm sure he made quite a bit of money. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh, oh you got a booty. Child. Kendra, shut up. Just shut up. Stop it. <laughs> she got something, y'all. She got something, child. <laughs> I can't do this. Shout out to my girl, Almond Eyes, for the two. Appreciate you. She said this is so seventh grade. Yo, ain't she like a kid? Ain't she like a kid? Definitely. Look, Mr. Akon. Yes, that's what it is. That's what it is. I couldn't think of it. That's exactly what it is. And she do have a fupa, but it's like like saddlebags. That's exactly what it is. Kendra, oh, you got a booty. Does she though? Does she though, Kendra? Girl, goodbye, ma'am. Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I do, she said. Yes, I do. That was Last so time, so I was on Facebook. I had a messy bun. I had sweatpants on. Um, I had mentioned my kids loving your outfits and they came for me for the Kendra kids, but yet people come with their kids in the background. Like, what? <laughs> Girl, there be all types of kids on this show, child. I know, I know. <laughs> Why well, going to ask you last time you was intimate with someone because you already told us that. Um, 
Would you consider that guy a relationship? No, or would you? Uh, I don't know. Only because, like I said, there was like a... That means yes, girl. If you have to think about it, then you consider it a relationship, child. This is the problem. This is why you have the problems that you do. That's not a relationship. That's a jump off. Just stop it, ma'am. Just stop it. You, you're formulating things in your head. And he thinks that you was crazy. You crazy. A man who makes 500000 like the squeegee kid said, got a Snapchat. Girl, goodbye. I think that there was a status difference there. If it could have worked out, he's very handsome and he he will be great for the right person, but okay. Um, so now why do you think you're single, Ronnie? Um, well, for a long time again, you know, I was celibate for two and a half years. Uh the person that I got into a relationship last year stole and lied to me. Um, so I've been very selective and then obviously I've tried to date two people this year and it has not worked in my favor whatsoever. <laughs> Okay, it hasn't worked in her That's favor. That's my choices. I mean, it's because of my choices, though. Okay, man, my inbox is blowing up. Ma'am, let me help you out, child. Let me just give you a little tip, child. Your inbox is blowing up because they see that you game goofy. Shout out to Red Supreme. And that you go for whatever. And probably a lot of the over-the-road truck drivers, shout out to my blue-collar workers, is lining your ass up okay now listen i know that a lot of blue collar workers um listen to me shout out to y'all you know i respect you for show for show you say you listen i got it i love it i don't mind i ain't showing myself anyway so you might as well just listen right girl ronnie what's her name ronnie ronnie they lining you up girl all right i'm trying to help you out okay you're gonna do what you're gonna do child and then all this you think it's a a, a flex because there's a bunch of men reaching out to you she thinks that this is a flex because a bunch of men are reaching out to her. <laughs> and this, ma'am, is why you have the problems that you do. Okay. okay. No, I don't know if I like it. Well, I you came back up here to get the attention, like girl. Last, time. <laughs> last question. Why would a guy be like it be with you, mama? So, um, you know, I, I, I'm kind of a homebody. I used to be out a lot, not even out in the clubs or anything like that, but just seeing a lot. But I'm a homebody. I go to work. I come home. I take care of my kids. Um, I'm very loving. I'm very caring. Uh, I like to be spoiled, but I will spoil you just like you spoil me. Um, you know, I said on, on Facebook, you know, I, I'm that girl that goes out and buys the sneakers and the lineups. You don't got to pay for my nails. I got that, but you know, I'll get you together. It's actually how I got my ex-husband was a pair of Jordans. Um, <laughs> so, um, I can cook. I don't cook a lot though. I will tell you that if you meet me, um, I wish I did cook more, but my work schedule and I commute for work. So by the time I get home, it's, it's usually later in the evening. My kids are at my mom's house. <laughs> Anawa, thank you so much. Anawa says my sleeper does <laughs> ah, my sleeper does not take in 304s. Y'all are crazy. Y'all are crazy. Thank you so much for being here. Please make sure you hit the like button, subscribe if you are new. But I do enjoy to cook. If I had a man at home every night, I would come home and cook. <laughs> so yeah. Okay, okay, let's do it. Ronnie Nicole, Cincinnati. Does he have to be in Cincinnati? Um, no, and I'm open to really anywhere, but girl, we know wanting something exclusive and me really wanting to try for a serious relationship. I would prefer him to be like Kentucky, Indiana, Tennessee, Ohio, within like a five hour drive, even, um, you know, Chicago. I, I love Chicago. It's one of my favorite places. Um, so even Chicago is only four hours. No, wait a damn minute. Chicago is one of her <laughs> Oh, let me stop. Let me stop. I know there's some positivity in Chicago, y'all. I'm just joking. But ma'am, you know what's going on in Chicago? You want somebody, look, she'll take somebody from Chicago. So one of these gremlins will be reaching out to her child. Mm, mm, mm. Shout out to Coonley for another two. Thank you, sweetheart. He said Kendra with the fake laughing smile. She been faking it all the way through this one. Like she don't, she wasn't for this girl at all. I don't know if she was at the end of her show or what, but she was not trying to fool with this woman. I mean, she do sound half damn crazy. So maybe that's why, but it was like, girl, if you don't be the hell quiet and get to the point, come on forehead child. Give us the name so we can check out your Instagram child. Hours from me. Uh, Gatlinburg, Nashville is about five. So, okay. 
Um, and you don't care if the guy has kids. You're 34. Do you want more kids? Um, I cannot have more kids. Um, and I hate every day that I took that away from myself. Um, I actually Why had to take it away. Um, because I didn't want any more kids with my ex-husband. So what did you do? I got my tubes tied. Okay. But um, let me say, too, that my 14-year-old, I had surgery to get pregnant with her. Um, so I'm not opposed to having surgery again if I found a good enough man. Okay, gotcha. Like, I don't live on assistance or anything like that. So Y'all are bagging me up. Uh, shout out to Luke Kaisley. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to have another child with a man that, that I'm not going to spend the rest of my life with. I can tell you that. And I only yeah. have about five more years to do that because I'm, I'm pushing 35. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is Ronnie Nicole, Cincinnati, 34, Virgo, property manager, three kids. I don't think you're a bad woman um, at all. I just think you I make bad choices. Out. Look, I make very impulse choices, Kendra. I watch your show all the time, and I'm one of those cousins in the comments giving everybody hell. And then I look at my situations like, I just turned around and did that same shit. Like, why <laughs> did I turn around and do the same thing? <laughs> I love that even though you're, you're transparent, you're honest, you're learning. But I just think you have to make different decisions for different results. And I always say this. Everybody's grown. Like, this is 21 or older show. So you can be grown and do as you desire, but just own up to the consequences of it and don't act oblivious. There are, like, because, I mean, yes, it's always easy to blame the guy. And there are some guys who lie and play tricks. But there's some guys who don't even lie to you. And you yeah. still give them all that. Damn! <laughs> Oh my God, y'all are off the hook. Shout out to Mr. Akon. She is a JPT clone. Stop, 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 stop. You mean plain white girl? I'm going to just assume you mean like a plain white girl because she definitely plain child. She is definitely plain. Whoo, child. Shout out to the squeegee kid. Thank you again. He said, ha, so black men are okay for six. But hell nah. Will she tie her legacy to a black man? Got it. No. But hell nah. She won't be tying her legacy to a black man. She might untie them tubes. She might untie them tubes. You just never know, child. Now, I don't know the, how easy it is to untie tubes, okay? She might if they didn't get burnt, because sometimes I don't, they get snipped, they get burnt, and they might get like technically tied. I'm not really sure. Um, but I, she could be talking about also doing like in vitro, which someone said is expensive. It's definitely expensive. So that's probably why she over here looking for that daggone dude that went through. Because you know he make three hundred to five hundred thousand with a Snapchat watching Kendra G every night. That they don't deserve, and then you get mad. But you got to get mad at yourself in those cases, not at the man. And, and look, and, and like I said, if this man is watching, because even if he's blocked, he's still going to see me because first and foremost, we're on YouTube. You know, you're just streaming on Facebook. But I do wish him the best of luck. I even told him that, like, wish him the best of luck because he was a really good guy. OK. All right, Ronnie. Well, keep me posted how it goes. Well, I he wasn't. <laughs> I wouldn't be. Sorry, y'all. I was eating. Wishing him, wishing him the best of nothing. He didn't block you. He didn't basically use you. You allowed it. Now you're talking about, oh, I wish him the best. Girl, that ain't going to get him back. That's a comment to get that man to call you, girl. We know what it is. What's the Instagram? I pray it goes well. I can't come on your show for a third time. Girl, you came on my show twice. Huh? You came on twice. I know I'm on here the second time, but I can't come on the third time to give you an update if something changes. No. <laughs> yeah. Unless you get married or you get into a committed relationship. I will definitely update you at that point because it's going to yeah. be like heaven you for me. You get two times to come on. The third time would have to be you're in a relationship that you want to share. But you can't absolutely. come on for a third time to try it all over again. No, absolutely. I understand okay. that. I, I give, it, give everybody their chance. <laughs> all right. Bye, baby. Thank you so much. We love you, Kendra. I love you back. Bye, boo. Well, what was the damn Instagram? Ronnie Nicole don't work. Ronnie Nicole, they didn't even give us the damn Instagram. Child, we wanted to see. There could have been some more um, waxing on daggone screen. Shout out to Bunker TV in the building. Mad as always. Good to see you, hon. Appreciate you being here. Everybody, please hit the like button. We got 174 in here. We had 171. You guys are the bomb, but I know some of y'all didn't hit it, so go ahead and hit it as we move on to the next one, child. Mm, mm, mm.
Mm-mm. Now we're going to be nice to granny, y'all. We're going to be nice to granny. This Trenisha, y'all, her man has to be able to pay for $11,000 tickets to attend events with celebrities when she is invited. Whose grandmother is this? It's not mine. Rest in peace, granny. Who 